A 30 centimeter ruler and some introductory torque problems. Let's learn physics. So you take that 30 centimeter ruler and apply two forces to it. Small one at 2 centimeters, larger one at 23 centimeters. Sketch a free body diagram. There's a 10 newton force at 2, 25 newton force at 23, and the length is 30 centimeters. Question is, where's the third force? What's the value of the third force to balance it? So the third force needs to be like there nearer the bigger force. So you can add that to your free body diagram, place it there. It's got to be 35, the sum of the other two. So I know the size of the force using the first condition for equilibrium, balanced forces, and I'm looking for the position of that force. Not only the forces, but the torques must also be balanced. That's the second condition for equilibrium. We can choose any axis of rotation that we want to, any axis of rotation. And it'll work because this is static equilibrium. However, there are some convenient ones. There's one convenient point, and here's another convenient point that we can choose as our axes of rotation. Because when you choose a point like that, the force acting on that point doesn't apply any torque. And then you look at it, and oh, that, that one's a counterclockwise torque, and that one's a clockwise torque, so I can gather those torques on opposite sides. Or, using that point, no torque from that force because the force is acting on the hinge. This force around that point will be a clockwise torque. This one, counterclockwise torque. Remember, this is all static equilibrium, so you can choose any point you want to. We'll solve the problem twice in this first example. First around point A, then around point B. Net torque is zero. Counterclockwise torque is equal to the clockwise torque. So balance torques around point A. So using point A as the axis of rotation, we get 35 newtons times its lever arm from 2 centimeters is equal to 25 newtons times its lever arm, 21 centimeters. And then you can solve that for a lever arm of 15, which, again, that's from the 2 centimeter mark, so it's 17 centimeters away, or at a position of 0.17 meters. What? You didn't get that? Well, stop the video and go back. That's what it's for. Now we'll balance the torques around the other point and hopefully get the same answer. So it's uh, th 35 newtons times the unknown lever arm is equal to 10 newtons times the 21 centimeter lever arm. Solve that and you get six centimeters. But that's six centimeters from the 23 centimeter mark, so it's 17 centimeters, same answer. So I've got a couple of practice problems for you, but this does require that you stop the video to actually practice. Just letting the video roll through is not gonna help you much. Same 30 centimeter ruler. Find the fourth force for equilibrium. Its size and its position. And seriously, go back and stop this thing and solve the problem independently. It'll help. So take a look at that. You have a 20 newton force in one direction, a 10 and a 5 in the opposite direction, so you need 5 newtons more in the blue as shown. Three good possibilities for axes of rotation at the 29 centimeter mark at the 14 centimeter mark and at the 7 centimeter mark. You need to just pick one. So pick one and solve the problem. Net torque is zero. Torques are balanced. I'm choosing the 14 centimeter mark. Doesn't matter. You can choose any one you want. You'll get the same answer. Take your pencil, pin it at the axis of rotation, and see whether or not the forces are clockwise or counterclockwise. Gather the clockwise on one side, counterclockwise on the other side. That 10 newton force causes a clockwise torque, 10 newtons times 0 0.07 meters, and the other two, 5 newtons times the unknown, and 5 newtons times 0.15 meters. Solve that and you get negative 0 0.01 meters. Negative means we were wrong on the assumption. It's not to the right of the 14, it's to the left of the 14. Answer is 13 centimeters. So that's where it is. So you guess wrong in the position of that force, problem will work itself out for you. Here's another practice problem. Make sure you stop it and actually practice because just watching my video isn't going to help you much. Now is the time to stop it and find the position and value of that fourth force. All three forces are toward the bottom of the page, so there has to be a fourth force toward the top of the page to balance those. 7 plus 4 plus 2 gives you 13 newtons. Somewhere around there. Again, we're guessing. You choose the axis of rotation, 25 centimeters, 18 centimeters, or 2 centimeters, all are good possibilities, and then use your writing utensil to determine which is clockwise, which is counterclockwise, and gather them all on the proper side. 
You don't have to, but I'm choosing the 18 centimeter mark. Therefore, the 4 newton torque and the 13 newton torque are going to be in the same side, and the 7 newton torque balances it. Stop it if you need to. Turns out that the lever arm is about 6.5 centimeters, and so from the 18 centimeter mark to the left, that would be 11.5 centimeters for the answer. And all those problems, you can double check them using a different point and seeing if the torque balances.